The heavens are alive. Do not be deceived by the apparent peace and tranquility of the night sky above you. The celestial ballet of stars that dance and flicker gently to the human eye are raging and burning in a near vacuum of space, living and dying with a beauty, ferocity and magnificence that is almost impossible to comprehend. Stars explode into life then explode in death. We are all produced from the hearts of these dying stars. Charting these dark heavens is an essential part of astronomy, but in order to investigate a celestial body, astronomers must know where to find it. Without this knowledge, astronomers would wander blindly in what Galileo once termed a dark labyrinth. In 2013, a rocket will blast into the sky from a launch site in French Guiana and travel some 1.5 million kilometers to reach its destination in orbit around the sun. The spacecraft is called Gaia. Its mission is to make the largest, most precise three-dimensional map of the Milky Way ever attempted. The science behind Gaia was recognised by everybody right from the start as something that, that mankind must do. Uh, Gaia is going to be a revolution in fundamental astronomy. It's going to be a mission that's going to affect everything in astronomy. Gaia is going to produce tomorrow's version of all the great star catalogues that have gone back in history to the very dawn of astronomy. The answer is just one, uh, and there's one Milky Way, and we'll find out what it's all about. Attention for the decompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, décollage. I think psychologically and emotionally, we are just about to enter the same era for our Milky Way as Western Europe entered when the voyages to the New World and the great voyages of discovery of the Earth happened. An entire psychology changed. People's view of who they were and where they were in the world was completely revolutionised. It was no longer Western Europe and that's it, you know, we have our neighbours and tough. We are part of this whole new approach and there was this burst of intellectual achievement, cultural achievement. It, it just revolutionised people's view. And I think we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to be able to walk through the universe and we're going to realise just exactly what we are compared to other people. We're going to find tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of other planetary systems, some of which will be like our own, quite close. We'll be able to take pictures of those planets. We're going to discover the things we can't see, the dark matter. We will go beyond what we can see to be able to understand reality. And I think this is exactly the same transition that Captain Cook made. We go beyond our preconceptions to see, hey, this is what the world is like, guys, and we'll be able to just walk through it. We will see the remnants, the debris streams, of the first shards that became what is today the Milky Way. We can run the process right back to the first things that ever happened. We will see the entire history of the Milky Way unfolding before our eyes. We're going to discover completely new things. We're going to discover that stars are moving in ways that we think are impossible. And so we're going to learn completely new things about what happens. We're going to discover that there's actually an awful lot of matter there and hardly any there. And we'll be able to say, well, what is it then? How is that possible? So we'll learn a lot about elementary particle physics and possibly even about theories of gravity. So I think that's going to be the real dramatic change. The, the stuff that's going to, going to come out of Gaia is not the spectacular science that we know it's going to do. It's the stuff that we don't, the questions we don't know how to answer.